My prediction that we would get the full release date for Grounded at the Xbox Game Showcase today came true, and in this video I'll be looking at the full release trailer looking at everything new that I spotted. Before we begin, I want to thank King Bling Blah Gaming, Lyndon Dade, Matthew Campbell, Stephen Van, and all my other channel members. You can become a member today by clicking the join button below or the link in the description. Thanks again to all my channel members, let's get started. So in the background, you're going to see the reveal trailer that was released during the Xbox Game Showcase. I did mute the sound, so if you want to see the full release trailer, you're going to have to watch the Obsidian, go to the Obsidian YouTube channel or the Xbox YouTube channel. I didn't want to just steal the, all their thunder, so go on over there and make sure you watch the full video. I just wanted to point out the things that I saw that were new. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play. I'm going to pause the video when we come across things that I saw that were new. Obviously, the beginning has this cartoon intro here which fits the theme of the game. It has the billy hogs, the juice boxes and stuff. The teens are reported as missing. So this isn't like they just randomly disappeared. They're actually reported as missing. And first thing I wanna point out was we have a garden gnome here and you're gonna notice that not only is this new, this is where the rash, so the rash figure is somewhere down here. It doesn't look like, I'm not sure if that's still there or not anymore. So with this garden gnome here, and then up here we have some type of, I don't know if that's a, it looks like some kind of machinery or something like that. So this whole upper yard's populated. There looks like there's a trash heap up here as well as possibly another hedge. And then there's a lawnmower up here. So all this new stuff is up here. And then it does also look like the wall's been a little bit textured. I don't know if that's what it looks like now. And then beyond that, I can't really tell. The quality of the video is not the greatest. I apologize for that. I had to record it off the Twitch live stream. So it was 1080p to 1080p. So it probably doesn't look that great. But if I do get a, we can get a 4K version. Maybe we'll get better better look at it. So let's just move forward a little bit here and let it play out. And I'll pause it the next time there's something new that we have not seen. So here's the spawning area. Now, interesting enough, they're walking out of here with, one of them has an antlion greatsword, which I thought was pretty funny. Wolf spider, nothing new there. Basically, we're looking for the, about 10 seconds from now, there's going to be something new that's not been shown before. So this is Burgle. We've got the bike in the upper yard here. And then we're going to pause in just a second. So right here, we do have the Mantis set. So the Mantis set is coming to the game. It is right here. All these other armors look to be the same, but we have the full Mantis armor set, as well as a Mantis scythe here or what looks like to be a scythe. We're going to let it play for a little bit longer. They're just going to show some Broodmother footage here. Nothing looks new with the Broodmother as of right now. Going through the haze and then the sandbox, this all looks to be the same from what I saw. A little bit of pond. There's a black ox beetle. Nothing new there. Back to Burrow giving him a super chip. And then this was the I did slow this down a little bit. I didn't see anything there. That is the haze lab. Next thing that's going to be coming up is just in one second, which is right here. This looks like it's either underneath the house or underneath the shed. There is new armor here, which we'll get a better look at later, as well as the Mantis armor. This piping and this, this looks like it, maybe the shed has water in it, but this looks like it's either under the house or under the shed. And as we'll see in just a second, there's going to be another interesting reveal here, which is, let's pause it right here. This looks like some, this is a new thing. We've never seen this before. This is possibly, I'm going to guess this is Dr. Wendell Tully. Looks like he's got the muscle sprouts on him, so maybe he consumed too many of those. And perhaps he is the final boss. So if this is the undershed or the under the house area, maybe that's where we meet the final boss. Because as you saw, they already had the equipment from the two new armor sets that we saw. They already had those both on. So it looks like this might be the final, final boss of the game. So perhaps Dr. Wendell Tully is going to, in fact, be the final boss from the game. Moving forward just ahead, just for a second, we got to capture this. If I can get this perfectly here. We're gonna have to go back a second. That is definitely a new spider, but I wanted to see if I can get the exact frame and I just missed it again. One more try. We're just gonna click here each time. This is a new, the new spider. This is a Black Widow. You can see the black coloring here with the red on here. So the Black Widow spider is coming. This looks like a hedge area. I'm gonna guess because we saw that there was a new hedge in the upper yard and we've already seen that has possibly being up there. This is most likely gonna be in that part of the yard. I, unless the Black Widow is just going to be a weak spider and they're going to have it down in where the other hedge is, this is probably going to be in the new hedge area. So Black Widow spider looks like it's definitely coming to the game. We're going to skip ahead just a little bit further. We're going to get a good look at that armor. That's the armor set. We're going to see that in just a second. The system manager fight, nothing new here. That what I saw, nothing new with these buildings, although I didn't slow it down a ton there. I didn't see anything new there. What we're basically looking for now is going to be the new armor set, which we're going to get a really good look at right here. So this is a new armor set here. It kind of looks like it's a Viking or a Nordic armor set here. You can see it's got like fuzz on here. So perhaps that means there is a cold biome coming and we'll be getting it to get inside of there. There was nothing shown from what I saw about, about there being a cold biome. But with this new armor set here, there, definitely we're getting two new armor sets as well as at least one new weapon. So let's let it play for a little bit longer. And we're probably going to get to the big reveal in just a second, which is probably what everyone's been waiting for. 
confirmation that the Mantis is actually coming to the game. So this is a new lab there. And then we'll just let freeze frame it in just a second. Here is the Mantis. It does appear to be an Orchid Mantis. It is pink. There's pink flowers up here. So it's going to be interesting to see where this is located. If it's in the new upper hedge area, this definitely looks like a boss fight because of the way it's laid out. There was not, it doesn't say it was a boss fight, but just the way that it's pre presented here, it kind of looks like a broodmother fight where you're in some type of arena. Not sure we have to spawn this guy in or not, or this girl in. And definitely looks like it's going to be a tough fight. This thing is massive. It looks like it's bigger than the broodmother, and it definitely looks foreboding here. So interesting enough, they're going in with, this guy's going in with red ant armor, which I don't think would be the best choice. Does have a spicy weapon in the club of the mother demon, so maybe it's going to be weak to one of those. And then progressing a little bit further, I'm going to have to freeze frame this a couple times just to point out the things that I saw here. So this is the very close to the end of the, the video. And what I noticed was, let me see if I can get a little bit closer. I noticed a couple of bugs on here and I do apologize for the quality here. It's not, it's kind of a little bit blurry. We have a bombardier beetle here and we have a beetle over here that kind of looks like a scarab, but it looks like it's much bigger. I, unless the scarab got increased in size, this looks like a new scarab. So, or it looks like a new type of beetle. So a larger beetle. Down here, I don't know what these are. They kind of look like they might be like a moth or something. So maybe a new flying enemy. And then over here, we have a white spider, a large white spider. It's much larger than the spiderlings because you can see there's a ladybug up here and it's much larger than that. I believe this is the broodmother. And I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure if that's the termite king or maybe it's an ant queen. They didn't show anything about an ant queen. So I'm not sure if that's the termite king or not. It's kind of hard to tell. Actually, no, sorry, that is a stink bug. It just looked weird from that direction. But over here, this looks like some type of new spider that was not shown as well. So those are all the new bugs that we saw. And then I do believe, I believe that's a lawn mite, although it could be something different. It does kind of look like a lawn, I mean, sorry, a dust mite. And then beyond that, I think that was everything. So that was the end of the trailer. So those are all the new things that I saw. And we're going to see that it's going to say September 22 in just a second here. So we're getting full release September 22. They didn't say anything about a public test server from what I saw. I did watch a few minutes past it and they started going into other games. I will go back and watch the end of it to see if there's any discussion with the developers. But it looks like the game's going to be fully released September 22. There's probably going to be at least a public test server between now and then. Not sure if they're going to do an update between now and then. I was kind of thinking they might do an update in the summer. So maybe they're going to do one last mini update between now and then to introduce some of the new stuff. And then we're going to have full release in September 2022. Looks like Dr. Tully's going to possibly be the final boss. We saw a new Black Widow, definitely. The Mantis, definitely. A new the Mantis armor set. Some other type of armor set, as well as the Mantis weapon. Then there were some other pictures of bugs that might be in there. So besides that, there might be other stuff that I missed. I'm going to go back and watch this a couple times, and hopefully they put like a 4K version up on their YouTube channel, and I'll watch it in super slow-mo. And if I find anything else, I'll be sure to do another video. But anyway, just wanted to get this out there. That full release is coming September 2022. Hopefully you guys are excited as I am. If you found the video interesting, make sure to click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. If you want to support the channel even more, click the join card on the screen right now. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.